So I was just on a trip to the Grenadines with a buddy who was learning to kite. And after a couple of lessons, obviously his big question was, when should I buy my own gear and what gear should I buy? That made me think back to when I was starting out and what a pain and how terrifying it was to buy my first setup. And so today's video, I'm just gonna go through, if I were buying a setup today, what would I buy? Where would I buy it? How much would it cost? And I'm just gonna take you through the shopping experience. Cool, so basically the most important thing when it comes to buying kite gear is the context around that gear. I'm gonna share my context so that you understand my situation and you can figure out, you know, do these recommendations translate to your situation? First, I'm a weekend warrior. I don't get a lot of time on the water, so really what matters most to me is making the most out of that time on the water. That means I'm a little bit less budget sensitive than some people might be because gear that will give me an extra edge, I think it's worth it. Um, outside of that, I'm in a light wind spot, so I need bigger kites. Uh, I'm in a, in a spot that can get really gusty and so stable kites that can handle those, uh, those gusts are going to make a new rider more confident. And then I'm primarily going to be recommending a certain brand of kites today, Core. That's what I'm familiar with, that's what I know, I don't feel comfortable talking about anything else. But all the major kite brands out there are making really good gear these days and so I think you can probably find a similar kite to what I'll be talking about today. I'm on the heavier side, I'm 230 pounds, so obviously I'm gonna be talking about big kites. If you're a lighter person, this may not translate as well. Uh, and then for today's setup, I'm gonna be talking about a two kite initial setup. A lot of people aren't comfortable dropping five, seven, ten thousand dollars $10,000 all at once on four, five, six kites. Um, and so we're gonna keep it simple today and just focus on those two. All right, let's run through the shopping list. First, we're gonna want two kites. In my case, since I'm a larger rider, I'm gonna recommend a 17 meter and a 12 meter. Um, if you're a little bit lighter, maybe do 15 meter and 12 meter. And, and then the kite I'm gonna recommend or the kite that I'm gonna look for is a Core XR. So this is a big air five strut kite. Um, it is slow turning, which means it's a little bit more stable and forgiving for new riders who are still learning those kite skills. It has great D power and because of the five strut, uh, it's really stable and can handle gusty, uh, kind of crazy winds. Um, so Core XR, I also know the build quality is great, so you can beat this thing up and it's gonna last. After that, the bar, we're gonna look for a Sensor 3. Anything before the Sensor 3 from Core uh, uses a proprietary uh, safety release that I don't recommend. Uh, and then unfortunately, Core Kites and Core Bars, they use what's called a high Y, um, and so it's not as compatible with other bars from other kite systems. It's annoying, but that's kind of how it is. Um, after that, the board, I'm really gonna look for something kind of 142 to 148, probably on the larger side since I'm heavier. Um, I don't wanna go full light wind up in the 150s, so I want something that's got a little bit of versatility, um, but this is a board that I'll probably outgrow within a year. I'm gonna try to keep that as cheap as possible. Next, from a harness, probably something from Mystic. I trust them, I like them, uh, and then we need a pump. Let's jump into the shopping. So first we're gonna start with the kites. In particular, we'll focus on the 17 meter kite since that's gonna be more expensive and potentially harder to find. And I'm just gonna to go to Google and typed in used 17 meter Core XR. Um, and then I'm gonna start clicking through and tabbing out these pages that might have inventory. Uh, and then kind of we'll work our way through those. Um, first, we see kiteboarding.com. I filter it for Core. They don't really have any options that work. Uh, New York kite, not really the right sizes either. Um, Real Water Sports, I've purchased a ton of core gear from them and I've had great experiences. Uh, but looking through this list, they have options. Just from, just from experience, I know these look a little bit more worn and a little bit more beat up than, than what I want uh, for this particular first setup. A lot of this is seasonal, so it just kind of depends on the time of the year, who's selling gear, and, and kind of what quality gear they have in stock. Uh, moving on to Elite, um, I've purchased from them, they're great. They have a lot more inventory here. So we see two 12 meter kites, we see a 17 meter kite as well, so I'm gonna tab those out. Um, popping over to the 17 meter, it looks like it's in really good condition uh, based on where the repairs are. Uh, that doesn't make me nervous at all and the price is really good. Anything under a thousand bucks is great, so I'm gonna add this to cart. Uh, and then on the 12 meters, you probably won't outgrow the 12 meter as quickly. You might, uh, you know, two or three years down the road, you might not ride that 17 meter anymore, but the 12 you'll ride forever. So looking at these two 12 meter kites, one is in better condition, that's a hundred bucks more. I think it's worth the extra expense, so we'll, we'll put that one in our cart and we'll take the, the higher quality one. These look very promising, yet again, I've done this a bunch, so I know these are good prices, uh, but we'll do a quick scan of any other sites that I usually buy from. I'll look at Houston Kiteboarding or Mac Kiteboarding uh, and just double check check that we can't find anything better than this. 
So next we wanna look for the bar. So I just type in used core sensor three bar. We want the three and not the two, which is the older proprietary system. Um, I see a lot of two inventory out there. Don't see a lot of core sensor threes. Um, I see this site that I haven't purchased from before, but the inventory they have looks a little bit more worn. Uh, and then I see this one that looks like a great deal from Green Hat Kiteboarding. I love them, they ship super fast. I've had great experiences with them. I know 425 bucks is a great deal, but here's the catch. When you're looking for used gear, you gotta look in the description. And so this one says it's missing a pigtail. Um, I know pigtails are easily replaceable. We can just grab some when we check out here. So I'll throw both of these things in the cart. Um, and I, I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna find anything better than that. Um, while I'm here, I'm also gonna grab a WMFG pump. Uh, I like how tall they are. It's easy on the back. Um, and I know they come with the core adapter for the core kites. So yeah, so this particular setup for 500 bucks, I'm getting the bar, the replacement pigtails, uh, and the pump. Now onto the board. Um, I'm gonna go ahead back to Elite since that's where I'm getting the kites, and we're gonna do a quick search. Scrolling through here, there's only a couple in my size range, but this switch from Air Rush in a 148 uh, looks pretty good. Um, 148 is a great size for me. The price is, is, is actually pretty solid. I've never ridden the Air Rush. I've never ridden a switch, uh, but a quick Google turns up um, in the reviews that it's a free ride board, that it's good for going up rend. And it looks like, what is that, 400 bucks? Um, 400 bucks is just an incredible deal for this board unless it's horribly, hor horribly damaged. Um, so I think we're off to a good start. I'm gonna throw that in the cart as well. Um, and then we're gonna head off to some other sites to see if we can beat it. We'll check out Real, we'll check out Mac Kiteboarding, we'll check out Houston Kiteboarding. Um, and what I found is those places had a few things that were kind of in the side, size range, but on the lower end, and they were $100, $200 more expensive. Um, this board I'll outgrow in about a year, um, so I don't really think it's worth the extra spe expense buying something uh, a little bit nicer in say like a 142 or a 144. Last piece of gear on the shopping list, the harness. I love Mystic. I bought some ride engine harnesses. I cracked two of them, so I don't trust them as much anymore. I've had nothing but good experiences with Mystic. So I'm just gonna start. I'm gonna do a used Mystic harness search. Uh, and right away it turns up uh, an interesting result for the 2019 Mystic Majestic X for 129 bucks. That is a killer harness. I actually have that harness. Um, it's just like the Stealth, which is a $400 harness. It's hard shell, uh, which means when the wind picks up, it doesn't really pinch you as much. And in my case, I know it fits my body type and it really locks into my back. Um, so I'm gonna grab that. I look around a little bit more, can't find anything cheaper anywhere else. So I feel pretty good about this deal. Uh, and then keep in mind, you're gonna need a spreader bar. So in this case, the Stealth spreader bar um, comes in three different types. There's the hook, there's the surf bar, and then there's the free ride bar. I like the free ride bar for beginners because it's such a small hook. It keeps everything close to the body so that you can depower a little bit more easily. Plus it's on sale. So um, this whole setup's like 188 bucks. Um, plus the previous kite and board setup is about 1900 bucks. And uh, so yeah, in summary, this is the whole setup that we found here, are the checkout pages. Uh, I didn't click through to get into the sales tax, but pre-sales tax, we're looking at around 2600 bucks. Um, and yeah, I think this is a killer setup. I think this is a setup that will definitely get you out and riding. It's not a setup that you're gonna outgrow within the first 12 to 18 months if you're riding like me on the weekends. Um, can you find something cheaper than this? Absolutely. Um, you can get older gear, you can buy directly used gear from someone on your beach. Um, but I wouldn't recommend going for much older gear than this because it'll break, it'll pop. Um, you might outgrow it a little bit more quickly. And so I think this is really the sweet spot for uh, that weekend warrior who's like trying to make the most out of their budget. So for those of you that are looking and shopping for your first setup now, hopefully that was useful. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. If you got any questions, throw them in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.